Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some amazing polishes that are affordable. Um, they go by the name of finger paints. You probably already know these, but these are my favorite glitter ones that they have. They're just beautiful and just... I can't even say enough about finger paints. They're just amazing. Um, I have already did one coat on each of my nail wheel. And I'm also going to be putting them over a black base. This is um, Wet n Wild's black cream, which is a one coater. It's just amazing. 98 cents. So let's get started in the video. So the first one we have is Finger Paints, and it is Art, A-R-T, You Were Wondering. So that's already a one coater for Art You Wondering. I'm going to do another coat of Art You Wondering. So... These are just really beautiful. Like I said, these can be built up really good. The glitter payoff is great in these. You don't really have to fish for glitters. They're just there. And that's one coat. Two coats, sorry, of art you're wondering. And the second one is... Color Me Abstract, and this is also a really beautiful, really beautiful color. Color Me Abstract, and this was almost opaque in one coat. So, I'm going to take it off, the top off, and we're going to do a second coat, and you guys, it's just so beautiful. Finger paints really do come out with some very beautiful, affordable colors. I think um, these are $4.98 a piece or something like that. Um, you can get them at Sally's Beauty Supply. And also, I don't know if they have these ones anymore, but you can go on their website, uh, fingerpaints.com, I believe. But I bought all mine off of Sally's. So, um... The next one here is You Gotta Be Kitching Me. Kitchen, like kitchen me. And look at this, so you guys. It's just beautiful. And this is a second coat of You Gotta Be Kitching Me. Which I really don't have to fish for the glitters like some polishes. You just have to like, there's a lot of clear base and then you just have to really fish for the glitters. But it's just like packed full of glitter. I'm just trying to miss spots. But that is two coats of Aren't You Kitchen Me? You gotta be kitchen me, sorry. This one is the one... I I'm kind of disappointed in this one. I really love it. I love the beautiful colors. It's called Peacock Portrait. This is the one that has the least glitter payoff. But it can be built up. It's just... Uh, it's such a beautiful color. But I think they just have a little too much base and not enough glitter in it. But we're going to build it up. You see how I'm having the fish and the glitters... This is the one that kind of disappointed me, but you can always sponge this on um, and it would be a better payoff. So that one is, that's two coats of Peacock Portrait. You can see. The next one also is a beautiful color. And it is called Off to College, like college, Col not college, but 
collage that's the word i was looking for it's a beautiful color too just as well you know you really the glitter here is a lot so you can make this oh oops you can make this i had too much on my brush you can make this opaque in three coats i had a really thick thick coat the first coat but look at the look at the beautiful color okay and the next one is I believe this one is, I may be pronouncing it wrong Dahlia's Dahlia's Garden Dahlia's Garden look at that beautiful color trying to get my so you can see it without the flash like it's just such a beautiful color but my light's just not there you go see the colors are just wow <clears throat> and this is Dahlia's garden this is two coats Dahlia's garden I'll leave every Thing in this description box below there's two coats of Dahlia's garden and the last one is rising star this is a beautiful color too look Look at that. It's like a. Oh, I believe it might be a clear base. Maybe it may have some color to the base, but the glitters in there are just amazing. They look a little chunky, some hollow. Just such a beautiful color. It is a clear base. It is a clear base. And this is. But it's just so beautiful. Just such a, a fun color. Touch the wheel. Got a little on me. But, and then that's two coats of Rising Star. Now this is not a glitter polish, but it is one of my favorite finger paints polish. This is Surreal Sunset. This color, you guys, like, you can't even imagine the color in the light. It is just so, so beautiful. And it's just, it is a one coater. I can pull it off with one coat. You may need two coats but one coat you really do well that's two coats now i'm gonna go back and oh got a little hair I do have a great dane so she gets her little hairs everywhere so it's okay, but I'm going to go back and, like I said, I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, Black Cream. It was 98 cent at Walmart. You can pick these up at Wal Walgreens, Walmart, any of your um, um, drug stores have these. And like I said, this, the only downfall to having, you know, using this is the brush is so tiny. I wish they would make a, a wider brush for Wet n Wild. But there's polishes are just great and affordable. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to do everything with a black coat um, base so you can see. So I'm going to start off with Art You Wondering. And look, just, oh my goodness. These are really great with the coat, a base coat. Can you just look at that? I mean, here it is just by itself. I said two coats. It may get opaque in three. 
and that's with one with a black color. But this is such a beautiful um, color for Christmas or even you know whenever. Just a cute little green mani. Um, St. Patty's Day is coming up, so to make a really great Pat St. Patrick's Day mani. Okay, then we're gonna go with. Color me abstract, and we're gonna do over a black base. And like I said, the with over a black base, these colors just literally come alive. Like any dark base, but the black is. Look at that! That's just so beautiful. That is color me abstract. And then the next one I'm going to do, and this is where I love the peacock portrait, um, because it really is beautiful over black. It really is beautiful over black. It's just, it comes alive, I think. I think certain colors with black base, it just, it just brings it out. Look at that. I mean, I drew it a little, a little too thick, but you, you get the get the picture like look at that over the black base and that's why I picked this color because you know you can always sponge these on and make them opaque but I picked the color up because it is gorgeous gorgeous over um, black and then my next one I'm gonna do over a black base is you gotta be kitchen me and it's, this one is just full of glitters, like it's just beautiful too. I mean, all these are really beautiful, affordable polishes. Like if you're looking for a really good glitter polish, this is, I highly recommend this one. These, look at that one, it's so pretty over the, I can't get my, to focus you can see a little I'm trying to get my camera to focus on it but do you see that guys this is the uh, peacock portrait and it is just oh my god it like dances or something I don't know so the next one is we're going to do is rising star and you know these some of these are really thin thin um, polishes some of them are thick but some of them are really really thin do you see that like so beautiful over black and it's just a the peacock portrait, you guys, is just blinding. It's just so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous over it. But this one, too, the rising star. Really pretty over black. Okay, and then the Diella's Garden, I think that is. If you guys know what this one is, I have it. Please, if I'm seeing it wrong, please help me out. I believe it's called Diella's Garden. And this is going to go over the black. It's really pretty. Um, uh, really pretty. It's like a it's gold with some orange and yellow flakes in there, glitter. And really, really pretty color too. The next one is off to off to college or collage. Why do I keep saying college? Like I'm trying to be France or something, All right? Oh, this is a very thin. If you guys get this, just know this is a very very thin base, thin thin polish here. But 
the glitter payoff is beautiful. Tons and tons of glitter. You don't have to fish for them. But that's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Over black. Now the last one you don't really have to put over black. But I just wanted to see. Um, is the sun surreal sunset. I just wanted to see what it would be like. Over black. And it. it Jeez, you know. To be such a affordable price, the glitters are really great in almost most of them. This is it, Surreal Sunset over black, and this is Surreal Sunset by itself. This is two coats. Um, so, yeah, and then if you guys, I'm trying to get my camera to focus a little more, but out of my favorites, it has to be this one with the over the black. Uh, it's really pretty, but that's where it is without over the black. But over the black, this one and the peacock portrait one just comes alive. It it looks like Vegas. It reminds me of the lights in Vegas, and then just. This sunset, surreal sunset, is just gorgeous too. This rising star, look at it. But this one is just beautiful. Again, I'll have everything that I used in the description box. And I hope you guys go out and pick some of these up or pick them all up. And let me know which ones you like the best and which ones you're going to get or which ones you already have. And yeah, well, you guys have a good day. Peace and love and light. Thank you.